Hello YouTube viewers. Today I will show you how to uh, sorry. Today I will show you how to use Unity 3D to make a basic 3D first person shooter game in let's say about 15 minutes. Okay. So what we do now, this was just a ready made game by me. So I'll just delete this. On this. Okay. What you need to do is create a terrain. You can do this by clicking here and create one. As you can see, it's overlapping because I already have one. Yeah. You, when you do that, you can just click on this brush to if you want to add a texture. You can get textures from lots of different places like Google Images, but remember they have to be copyright free. If they're not, then you can get. You no. Know, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so for example, I'll choose the one that Unity already imported into the Manage Assets folder. Okay, when you scroll in, it takes time to scroll in sometimes. Okay, when you've done that, then you just. Right, let's take the bottom terrain for now. Okay, when you've done the texture, then you probably want to know how to make a skybox. Okay, I'll show you. First, you go and create by right, skybox. Then lots of different gray circles will pop up. Then you go and edit render settings and drag one of the gray circles into this skybox material. As you can see, the skybox will change. Choose your favorite one, but right now my favorite one is not this. It's Sunny One Skybox. I like this because it's more realistic and you can change the sun. You can how to the way to change the sun is first of all add a directional light if you want to make the sun more realistic but first of all if you want to add global warming to your game like if you want to make a game like let's say rage it's a PC game if you want to make a game like that then you just change the intensity to make it more global warming type I would prefer it about let's say boom no, that's too much I would prefer it about let's say 0.83 about this type then you go on flare then you click here and click 50 millimeter zoom now you yeah there it is now you click on this rotation burn then you just rotate your directional light to suit it with your sun okay let's just place it in the middle okay we've done that okay now we need to add our first person controller the way to do this is just write first and it'll just come up because it's built into unity let's just make this guy a bit big okay and remember to make him come above the ground because if he's below the ground then he's just gonna fall straight through Eww, that's okay I guess yeah now we'll just try out okay let's just let me just quickly five seconds folks yeah here's my ready-made game let me just delete the gun okay so this this is how it will look like this you if your control is working then your person is going to move and the skybox is going to look like this but if you want to change the speed of your controller for example it's too fast or the mouse look speed is too fast then you can just adjust it from here I would prefer keeping the mouse look sensitivity X to 1 and sensitivity Y to 1 the minimum X minus 360 maximum X 360 minimum Y minus 30 and maximum Y minus 30 and I would prefer keeping the forward speed 17 backward uh, uh, sideways speed 16 and backward speed 15 to make a, to make the game more realistic like the other PC games but as you may notice when you turn the camera around then it just swiftly turns not just softly like in some games let's take Battlefield 3 for example that's because you need to uh, create a JavaScript or any other script type which you like to make a, a like looking script but when you turn it just smoothly turns you can get it off like Google or unity forms 
lots of people have asked that question and you can just get the scripts from there but that's not what I do I write my own <laughs> okay when you've done that then you may want to know how to add hills the way to do that is just click here and choose your desired brush size and the opacity just keep about 40 because you don't want it going straight above just let's keep this a bit low oh that's too much keep the opacity about 15 yeah that's that's okay now you don't want to you know fade the whole texture in with the hills you want to make them smoothly fade in for example you want the textures to be different on the hills if you want to make the game more realistic so for that you need to choose a different more hill type texture so right now I'll choose the vegetation one and just strengthen the opacity and the target strength and just place it here just place it all around your hill and try different textures to overlap it with your previous textures to give it a nice smooth touch okay now let's just try this so when you've done the hill just reduce the amount to make it more realistic and do the outside believe me this would look real okay when you've done that then you just click play oh my person was off the ground as I said if you don't put it inside it will just go straight through keep him up there yeah that's good brilliant okay look as you may notice first the ground then when it's about to the hill then it changes its texture first smoothly then darkly because it's a hill and you may also notice that the terrains if you choose a certain one not to change the textures if you choose a certain one it goes in little squares this is because the size of the texture is too is too small to change that you just click on a certain texture for example let's take this and when you when you go on the texture it comes down like this in little boxes to make this better just double click this and change it um, to let's say 50 and it reduces the amount of boxes which appear watch for example when you're going there little boxes little boxes but if you have a really rocky texture then the boxes might be okay for you and look you can't see the boxes as much you can make it even bigger to suit your style but we don't have much time okay so now you may be wondering how to add a shadow if you don't have unity 3d pro but I've got a secret for that and it's not a secret it's a basic thing you just need to use your brain okay let's add a cube game object cube let's just make it reasonably sized that's big enough okay now you need to look where the shadow is going there's no shadow here no above not the side but there's at these two side back sides okay you need to cho you need to have a really dark ch texture and then when you've done that just keep your brush size to one because you need you want it to go into little squares so when you do that just make it straight so it looks like a shadow on the cube let's just go quickly go to the cube train yes oh sorry folks let's just darken this a bit to make it more look look more like a shadow and then we just do that yeah so it looks more like a shadow now okay let's play this okay there's a cube here there's no shadow here um no no darkness here so we don't need a shadow as you can see when you go to the darker part you can see this little shadow and we've done this without using the help of unity unity 3d pro you can't I don't think you can add a texture to the player when he's moving the shadow texture because the texture we just did now on the cube stays sticks to the ground and if you stick a texture on the player and you place it on the ground then when the player moves the texture is not gonna move with him believe me he's not gonna move with him and if you think that then something's wrong something's seriously wrong okay 
let's just color hold this change this just delete the cube okay let's just reduce the site okay oh I think I delete our first person player as well oh. okay yeah okay done that you just go to your first person controller now you might be wondering how to add like a gun you can get guns of different models from the Google but right now I already have a gun and it's a beautiful gun but if you want to uh, attach arms to your guns to make it more realistic then you may it's all yours your choice but it d if you do have arms it takes a big hassle to get the fingers right each bone of the finger I'll show you now I've got pretty realistic arms and if you want them then, then just subscribe to my channel and send me a message and I'll send send them to you for free because in return you're subscribing okay let's go here mm, no let's try different textures okay yeah that's good brilliant mm, marvelous no not marvelous Yep. Let's just attach the textures to the whole game. Not a game, the whole. Oh, I hate this. I hate this when this happens. Yeah. So. That looks quite good. Not just a scope. Oh, perfect. Now the gun looks does look more realistic. Now, if you want, you can change it. Okay, I'm going to put this in. No, I'll put this in. Yeah, but uh, play around with the textures to suit your gun. But mostly the textures come with the gun, so there's no worries. Let's just okay, that's good. Now we want the gun to come right in front of the player. Now, if you want to be really realistic and be clever, you would add arms to your player, like I would. But I don't have the time right now. I'll do it in my other tutorial, second part of this game. Now, when you place the gun into the right position of the player, then you just drag it to the main camera. When you done that, just hit play and watch him roll. Look when you go down. You, you may notice that the gun goes down as he goes down the terrain. And you may also notice that the colour of the gun changes when he turns other sides of the directional light. That's one advantage of the directional light. It acts like a, a real sun, if you know what I mean. Okay, we'll just move this a bit here. Put this in a bit. Yeah good oh yeah look sorry but my texture on the scope does not look realistic because I just quickly added textures to it if I concentrate on it it would look pretty realistic believe me okay yeah when you're done that then you just wait for my second tutorial because in that one I will show you how to add a shot effect and enemies and lots of more things so please subscribe to my channel and if you need any 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 help then just send me a message on my youtube channel and i will be glad to help you and please visit my website which is available in the description on my every video see you and wait for my second tutorial because on that tutorial i'll make you all professionals goodbye